Hi, I'm Alistair Miles. I'm the Malaria Vector Product Lead at the Wellcome Stanger Institute and a member of the Malaria Gen Resource Centre team. And welcome to my lightning talk about the open genomic data resource that we're building as part of phase three of the Anopheles Gambi Thousand Genomes Project, or AG3 for short. Uh, this data resource is based on whole genome sequencing of 2,784 individual wild caught mosquitoes representing three mosquito species within the Anopheles Gambi complex. Uh, these mosquitoes were collected in 19 countries by 26 partner studies, and all mosquitoes were sequenced to high depth using Illumina technology. Uh, from the sequence data, we have built uh, curated analysis ready genome variation data, which includes sequence read alignments and genome wide single nucleotide polymorphism calls, both of which have been released and are available for use. Uh, we will shortly be releasing copy number variant calls and uh, a new haplotype reference panel is in production and that should hopefully be, av be available very soon too. Uh, there's many things you could do with these data. Just to give you a couple of examples, you could investigate population structure and identify cryptic species. You could perform genome-wide selection scans and discover candidate insecticide resistance genes. You could analyze genetic variation within known insecticide resistance genes. You could identify potential gene drive target sites, or you could just use the data to fill up your disk drive. But if you would like to analyze these data yourself, you don't need a disk drive. You don't need to download any data at all. Uh, all of the data are available in the cloud and you can analyze them yourself using free cloud computing services like Google Colab. For more information, go to malariagen.net slash ag3, and that will take you through to a user guide which has complete documentation on how to access all of the data in ag3. And we're also building a library of Jupyter Notebooks, which provide complete code examples for various types of analysis that you might like to do with these data. And if you'd like to run any of this for yourself, just click on the rocket, select a cloud computing service, and that will fire up a virtual machine for you in the cloud where you can start running the code and analyzing the data. Well, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for listening. And uh, if you have any questions, please do get in touch.